So let us explore. Goddamn Cerberus bastards. And Udina too. Son of a bitch. That's crap. Udina made a deal with the devil. He got what he deserved. Agreed. He deserved to die. Oh yeah, Joker's dancing with his girl. Damn, oh no, he's he's back. Right now. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Something about leather seats. I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. And evil. The important thing is that you kick their asses. And <laughs> Cadence back. It was you my plan all along. remember the first rule of serving on the Normandy. Don't shoot the commander. Go easy on Caden. He's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer, nearly getting the council killed. That's not going to look good on the yearly performance review. <laughs> Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maws. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. <laughs> the Reapers are more fallible than they proclaim. Despite its best efforts, the one on Tachunko was destroyed by a worm. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? <laughs> In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? This is a very loaded question. Whatever it wants to be? Whatever you want to be, girl. Right? Super loaded. Why is it... I want her to be more than what she was designed for. I want her to have a good life, whatever it wants to be. It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth and the Reapers. There's more to organics. Don't think- that's- that's so rude. Don't think like a reaper. There's more. I know, she gave herself big risk. boobs. We find meaning in the work we do. Good deeds we accomplish. Love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. Well, that was quick. That was quick. <laughs> yeah. I love quantum computing. <laughs> Shepard, I, I will thought it would be a minute to like I'll get back to you. Priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just going to turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. <laughs> Thank you. It's like it'll, it'll take some time. Done. <laughs> Hello, on, trainer. I found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the crucible. Mm. If we could trust them? Unless they're indoctrinated, and this is a ruse to get Cerberus close to the Crucible. I'm not suggesting we trust them fully, but it could be worth investigating. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. Thanks for your time, Commander. She's romanceable, right? From what I remember you guys telling me before. Look at my collection! Oh my gosh, I have so many messages. Oh. 
priority, Citadel Shorely from Meh, Admiral Hackett, Commander Shepard. I'm ordering the Normandy into dry dock on the Citadel for much needed repairs. I, I guess we've done that. She's seen a lot of action lately and needs a little TLC. A small army of techs will take care of the details once you arrive, so let's get your crew out of there. You're all on Charlie. That's an order. We need everyone at their best. One more thing. Admiral Admerson has an apartment in the wards. Head over there when you arrive. I hear it's a nice place. I don't think we've been there. Kai Leng's dossier from Stephen Hackett. Shepard has promised here's what we have on Kai Leng. Forwarded message from Alliance Records. Subject Kai Leng's dossier to Stephen Hackett. Name, Leng Kai. Data Systems Alliance Military Enlistment, November 14, 2172. Age of Enlistment, 16. Credentials Faked. Tours of Duty. Okay, Patrol and Reconnaissance. Exodus Cluster. Reprimanded for taking medals from dead enemy officers? Why would you do that? Oh, I guess it's a trophy. Did a raid? Kites? Nah, what's that? Oh, is that a place? Received N7 designation from Interplanetary Combatives Academy. Combatives. Dishonorably discharged and imprisoned after charge of first-degree murder. My goodness. Cerberus activities. Intel on Kai Leng's activities after joining Cerberus is spotty. What is known is that the elusive man arranged for Leng's escape from prison, employing him as an operative for the next 10 years. Leng is now believed to be the elusive man's most trusted agent, working an, as an infiltrator and assassin. His cybernetic modifications appear to include Cerberus's phantom class implants. Got a minute from James Vega. Hey, Commander. Just wondering if you got some time in the near future. Nothing critical. Just wanted to chat. Vega. Derlish Mole. From R. Adrian Victus? I don't remember who this is. Commander Shepard. Cerberus just ambushed a Turian cruiser full of high-ranking hierarchy officials. The cruiser managed to escape, but its location was top secret. Cerberus couldn't have located that ship without inside information, and the only other person who knew the cruiser cruiser's position was Volos, Ambassador Din Korolak. Where was he? I've heard ugly rumors of a bounty out for his head. My advisors insist I cannot bring these accusations against Korolak myself. I admit they're right. The Turian and Volos economies are tightly intertwined, and now isn't the time for political crisis that would result. But the security of our fleet is at stake. I ask that you investigate Korolak in your capacity as a specter, and find out if he is indeed a Cerberus Mole. I've forwarded the information on his last known location to the Spectre office at the Citadel. Regards, Primarch Victus. Hope arrives from Erd, not the car, Commander. I'm writing you from the Kelfic Valley on Tuchanka. I wish you were here. I wish you were here. This should be on a postcard to see this. I'm watching Krogan pour in from across our entire planet. So many of them that I've lost count. They've all heard the news. We are finally free. The age of suffering is over. Never again will Krogan be afraid to give birth. Never again will they fear the pain and heartache it might bring. While I don't know what fate ultimately has in store for my people, I can promise you your decision to believe in us will not be in vain. We will fight the Reapers for more than glory. We will fight them because we know there is a future for us after victory. The rest of my life will be devoted to traveling to Chanka and speaking aloud the words no Krogan has heard for nearly 2,000 years. There is reason to hope. This I owe you, Commander. This I will never forget. Oh, that's so sweet. ANN Alert, new article on Cerberus from Alliance News Network Information Partners. Elysium, an evacuation shuttle nearly destroyed as it attempted to escape the Reaper-occupied colony of Elysium was reported saved after a lone biotic worker intervened. The shuttle was carrying children who drew high numbers on the colony's evacuation lottery, meaning they were not ineligible to board the first wave of shuttles leaving the planet. The shuttle was saved when the biotic identified by authorities as Arish Ad Ag Agdashalu engaged Reaper forces that were preventing it from taking off. Agdashalu had a history of drug abuse and criminal activity and claimed to have survived a Cerberus camp on Pragya as a child. Witnesses said he killed several dozen Reaper creatures before he was overwhelmed providing the shuttle just enough time to fly clear. 
I have so many messages, my gosh. Meet me at the bar. From Jack. The students are kicking ass and taking names. They're keeping them short. Uh, they're keeping them on short rotation so they don't burn out. So we end up with lots of shore leave. Next time you hit the Citadel, come by Purgatory. I'll be there if I'm not blowing shit up in the field. Jack. <gasps> Citadel interview. Your cabin from Diana Allers. The networks are going wall to wall with coverage of the attack on the Citadel. Everyone's asking questions about Udina's death. Can I get an hour or so with you to talk about what happened? I'm thinking your cabin rather than the conference room so we don't get interrupted. I heard you knew the counselor personally. If you need some time alone or don't want to talk about it, just say the word. Oh, let's do that. Game night from Samantha Trainer. I just saw her. She didn't want to talk to me about game night. She's like, I'll just send her a message. Commander, thanks for taking the time. Oh, I'd love to see how Commander Shepard kills time between missions. Why don't you give me a call if you like to grab drinks in your cab? Everyone wants to come into my cabin. I promise a night of fun and games. Trainer. Squad. Full squad. We finally have everyone, right? This is everyone now, right? Minus thing, but you know. Sure. Oh my gosh, feed the fish. How do I summon these ladies into my room? My little space rat. Do I freshen up or something? Do I need to like... Oh, invite trainer. Here we go. Trainer, if you're not doing Who's getting romanced in this run? Straight. I don't know. We haven't decided. Like come up? Could I romance more than one? Is that an Your option? Could I romance gorgeous. more than one? I've seen apartments smaller than this. Oh. An actual shower. The faucets in the women's bathroom are crap, by the way. In any event, I thought you might be in the mood to play. Chess? I bought a board on the Citadel. Gooey interface. Not nearly as much fun as real pieces. But I hoped you might give me some pointers. Wow! That's very to the point. How about a shower? shower it is then it's just like hey i brought over some games want to take a shower <laughs> i'm worried about this ruining my chances with someone else if i want to get with someone else right now grandma's going through a dry spell we might as well just take a shower with this girl that's, too that's funny i figured you'd be more interested in a shower i didn't realize that was an option it's an option well just give me a moment to grab my things what things what things do you need to grab in a sh for a shower? Ah, uh, hot water and room to stretch. Oh, I could get lost in here. Why would you walk into the shower with her bra on? What the hell? Mm, oh, it's like a week's worth of stress is washing off. And the timing's perfect. I was hoping to look nice to somebody. This is just awkward Our now. date lined up. Hopefully more than just that. I play for keeps. Sounds serious. That depends on whether she's interested. Oh, she's talking about me. I was like, why are we talking about a date with someone else? Do we join her? Kind of weird if you if you take a shower with the door open and this wasn't gonna happen. She's interested. Oh. It super bothers me that she showers with her bra on. <gasps> <gasps> I can't tell you how much I needed that. Oh my gosh, her bra's wet. Get off of my bed. Shower. I certainly hope so. <laughs> well, in that case, it's yours whenever you like. We have matching mm. bras. <laughs> The end of Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an the interview. weirdest romance choice I made. Right away, Commander. Taking a shower with a uh, with one of ready my subordinates. Chat, <laughs> I'm ready. Interview Commander, time. It's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? They've tried, but failed. Cerberus has limited resources. 
This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Oh gosh, this is, it's gonna be, end up being me. <laughs> this, you, you can't lose faith. You can't lose faith. Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now, a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. <laughs> oh no, Thanks for your bring time, up the Commander. past. This is Diana Allers for Battle Space. Good night and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this and I'll follow you home. Another proposition? <laughs> we just took a shower with a woman. All right, I'm, I'm okay with that. Looks like you already have. What happens now? You gave me a good interview, Commander. That's all I need. One after another. Oh, oh, oh. tonight. Do you want to take a shower? <laughs> I should just go around being like, shower? <laughs> shower? Invite James! Grandma's super thirsty today. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. As soon as he enters, I'll be like, shower. <laughs> hey, man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. I thought he was gonna wow. like go in my shower. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. You just come up here to make fun of your commander. Sorry, love. <laughs> I guess... I'm making this lines. Maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Okay. Shoot. <laughs> what did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? Oh. I mean, was it a no-brainer for you? Or how do I make you the in... How do something? I turn this question into, like, an insert of, like, shower? <laughs> I thought about it. The Duh, who doesn't think before deal, they accept a decision? A I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well... Even all the shit that's going on, somebody, somewhere, managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. I lot to kick my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. <laughs> Wine steining your way to the top. <laughs> I don't know if I want that responsibility. What happened? You mentioned that before. What went wrong? I should be like, wanna hop what in the shower and discuss this serious matter? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings, and the collectors hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collectorship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. <laughs> exactly. <a text laughs> That's what we want you to think. Yeah, he did the right thing. I think. No. I don't want to say soldiers are expendable. That's an awful thing to say. You did the right you thing at the time. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd <clears throat> saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. You sure it's not the cross-eyed yeah. that's making it hard when Didn't she goes like... you that before you joined the N7? <laughs> yep. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There is not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed either themselves or their soldiers at some point. 
Happy so M70, everyone. Hell yeah. Oh, that's up to you. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna make a decision. It's up to you. Up to you. You, you do can you. Make that decision, James. But I think you already know the answer. The stare. Glad you think so. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. I'm going to tell Christmas. everyone. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here. No. It's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. Oh. Are you flirting? <laughs> there was my room? in. I I put my. I'm oh. Going on. Thanks again, Shepard. Anytime. Wait, why would I take it back? Why would I retract that? I had an in. Carnage unlocked. The heck? That was weak. Weak, Grandma. Who else can I invite? Dang it, Grandma. Let's think about what you just did. Invite Ashley. Who else wants to shower? Oh, I'm gonna go around the ship asking who wants to shower. <laughs> shower with your boss day. Commander, Dr. Chapel oh. sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Down in the med bay. Is Ashley, Ashley, Ashley Williams. There she is. She made it onto the ship. And Thane is here. Morden is also here. And Grunt. Gone too soon. My baby Grunt. Shepard. Hell of a day. Udina loses his mind. The Citadel almost falls. And you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. I heard what happened. If it had come down to it. Could you have pulled the trigger? Would I have killed... <laughs> yeah! Yeah! If they hadn't backed down, yes. This war is bigger than any one person. So, <laughs> Garrus, sure do you want to take a shower? <laughs> Still, I'm glad Caden didn't have to join Ash. Losing <laughs> one was enough. I guess we can't take a shower right now. With you, Commander. Oh, there you are. My, un Commander, my other old lady. An opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. Oh, fantastic. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees. Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant, and these refugees are wary She's like my of granny best military. friend. They didn't trust me, but you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. Of course I could. Sure. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. Ooh. Per your orders, I have the latest reports on the Council, Doctor. Ooh, their yeah, I did. Is in disarray. But it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. Intel from the Battle of Arcturus. Telemetry capture from Arcturus Station shows just how quickly Reapers poured in from the Relay and tore through Alliance fleets. The guys can analyze hostile fire in the data collection to increase weapon damage. They can also spend processing power looking for ways to improve. I... What? Sure, let me... Ooh, okay, this is weapon damage stuff. I have to spend money, though. I don't want to spend money. <gasps> Audio recording from the Counselor Goodyear Senate office. Secretary Phillips, the emergency funds is gone, sir. We don't have the credits to hire enough ships to evacuate the colony before the Reapers get here. Not with the prices their captains are asking for, Counselor Goodyear. What about the military? Secretary Phillips, they left an hour ago, they said. They, they said it's too much of a risk to come back. Uh, Goodyear, did they? Phillips, yes, sir, Goodyear. Here, Phillips, this this is a pass key, sir, and an inventory. Goodyear, Goodyear. Phillips, I am authorizing you on behalf of the city senate to seize any and all 
ESO stockpiles in our treasury in order to secure safe passage for citizens on any available ship. Phillips, these look like private stockpiles. Senate member stockpiles. Gajir, I'm foregoing re-election. Now get us those ships. Yes, sir. Oh, wow. Mass relay traffic report. Increase, decrease in recent traffic. Relay, uh, in recent relay traffic. When... I was going to say window. Widow, 95 increase. Omega, dash 2, 65 increase. Why is there so much traffic? Relay traffic in these areas. Is this like where I should be looking? The increases? Thanks for coming by. Would you like to take a shower? <laughs> Hello, Kaden. Hey, I bumped into Edie in the hall. Scared the shit out of me. You could have warned me. She looks good, though. Ah. Okay, she does. I like this reading nook. I miss my bar though. Remember the bar? What's through here? Oh no, this is where Thane was hanging out before. Now there's no one here. He didn't even wash his coffee cup before he left. Oh. Commander. You settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of this ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. Oh. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Thane. And a Krogan who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. For my oh, people, Grant, I miss Grant so much. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished, the weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientist's opinion, or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what, exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos, the natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. The weakest need protection. It's the duty of That's the, strong the more to paragon them. thing to say. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. But those who had nothing to offer would be eliminated. So conflict should be a way of life. Evolution demands it. The strong grow stronger by dominating the weak. It is for the greater good of all. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara. I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. <laughs> you think you'd like that? It's a whole different line of work. I wouldn't know. But weakness is Living subjective, Javi. Taking life in every battle. I see how it could be tough to see outside the box. It is the only box I have known. It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it would take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this and we'll both be set free. They look. Breaking now, the Citadel in no. flames. A brazen attack by Cerberus, repelled by CSEC. We speak with the woman who fought on the front lines. Commander Shepard. How did Cerberus get in? Where was the Citadel fleet? Find out in a battle space exclusive. Commander. Want a shower? <laughs> How rude. I'm going around like, you should shower. Do you want a shower? Oh, my dog. Forgot about my dog. <gasps> it was intense. I tried providing air support, but the sky was so full of Cerberus. It was like someone kicked a hornet's nest. Hey, Commander. I knew the Adina was hermit. a dirty bastard. But I never would have guessed he was that rotten. This whole war is loco. 
I mean, can't they all see that we already? need to work together? When people are Come scared, there's no one to trust. Sure, but... Ah, what's the point? Look, just so you know, I've got a new shoot first, ask questions later policy when it comes to politicians. Fair enough. Okay, let's pick a place. Investigate Asari Colony. Find Exerber Scientist, which we could do. Strike Abyssal. I don't know what these ones are. Oh, they're still... Speak with the Quarians? I like the Quarians. We can go see your waifu if she's there. Are these just all, like, occupied? Let's do one of these ones. Yeah. Two minutes. Okay. Signal confirmed. Oh god. Do I just leave? Do I leave? I can't remember. Wreckage. The wreckage of a fuel depot. Oh no, I have so many clicks before... Okay, I get how it works now. I think I remember how this works. I scan an area, and then I just have to make sure I'm out of here before this, so I can either go here or wherever, so... There's nothing. Oh! Okay, let's see if... That was dicey. Leave orbit. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Evasion successful. Woo! <sighs> let's go here. Let's just check it out. So that we can just recover assets. Oh, thank you. So this is all bad, bad space. Ooh. Oh, that one also got like... Okay, there's nothing here. I found something. Enter orbit. Can they catch me while I'm in here? The music is freaking me out. Start scanner. <laughs> eh, launch probe. Gosh, this moves so slowly. Ugh. Now I remember this. <laughs> is it only one thing? Did I get it? Oh my god, A and D, why didn't you ever tell me this before? I don't think there's any more. I think it was just that one. Okay, as soon as I leave orbit, I gotta like, hightail it. You did? Okay, ready? Ready, ready? Hightail! Reapers okay. Deluded. Oh! 100%! Yay! Okay, I have enough. Do I have enough? I have enough. Surely I have enough. <sighs> Nothing's following me here. Could I... could I enter orbit of this? Or it should just be this mission? 
Investigate the Asari colony. Here, let's land and see what's going on. Investigate the Asari colony. Enter orbit. Lesses, an unpopular garden world with characteristics just outside of the comfort zone of its Asari population. Its gravity is a little too high, its disease is a little too virulent, and the soil inhospitable for growing food. Further information is difficult to come by. The Asari government is uncharacteristically silent about Lesses. Normally a garden with world settled so long ago would be highly populated, but little light pollution can be seen on Lesses's night side. Colony founded in 473 BCE, population unknown, capital Maria. Surface temperature 38 degrees Celsius, that's quite hot. <laughs> hot. For something with a short day length, that's hot. Land. Let's see what's going on here. Well, we should bring Liara. Who would be great to bring here? Javik? Javik always first saw a lore. <gasps> I have points to spend. Dig up any information on the mission, Liara? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardad Try Yakshi unmodding monastery. Godspeed and then mod him again. Ardad Yakshi. See if he can do it. Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. What were the commandos order us? If there was a chance the Ardat Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Is it really necessary? Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Then neither do we. We don't need something that dangerous running around. Oh, it's a main mission? That's fine. It's fun to do main missions. As you wish. But I want to do a lot of side ones so I don't miss any. We'll find out soon enough. Oh no, Window has full access to all my banking details. All of them. The shuttle is warm, recently used. Whoa. Whoa, look at this world. Jeez, that's far. That's beautiful. It's gonna be a little spooky. This is gonna be it for tonight. So we'll continue from here. Ah, uh, from this place. <laughs> Next time.